Okay, guys, uh, uh, Chris and I are back on uh, working on Kevin's truck right now. They've just gone to my place to go grab the rear fender, so we're going to install them on this video. Actually, I think this video is going to be a whole bunch of just different random things. Uh, I was able to, uh, last week I was going to try to get, we're going to try to get the motor turning over, but uh, it this block takes a, I just had a regular starter, but it takes a staggered one, so I'm hoping this starter is going to work, and if so, then I'll clean it up. So hopefully that's gonna be the plan today. I've got uh, different pulleys. Yet again, I had I put pulleys on here last week. Nothing would line up. So, so I was able to find some uh, pulleys at my place today, and a few other odds and pieces and whatnot for this thing. So hopefully today we'll actually get some stuff done. Uh, Chris is gonna finish up the gas pedal in this video, uh, and probably do the exhaust. I think possibly finish it off. So yeah, we're gonna try to get a bunch of shit done today. Uh, like I said, Kevin and Derek just went to my place to go grab the rear fenders. And uh, yeah, we'll be installing them shortly. And then Kevin's going to be painting a bunch of this stuff that he sandblasted up. So yeah, hopefully we get a bunch of stuff done. A lot of it's not exciting, but it's all uh, part of it. And uh, the truck will be uh, starting to look like something, hopefully after the day's done with the rear fenders and everything on it. And we were able to bring the hood here. So I think uh, we, uh, this is the hood we're going to be using. Kevin, it's all cleaned up. And I think Derek's going to have to do a bit of uh, work to it. But uh where I think we're going to uh, cut up another hood and we're going to put another brace in here just to kind of make it a little stronger. Yeah, just like this because yeah. over here it's... And I noticed too, Kevin, uh, there's some pinholes right there. He said because there was a bunch of moss and I guess it uh, kind of ate up the hood. Yeah. But other than that, it's pretty damn good That's... shape. So yeah, and we got a bunch of all the other parts. Kevin was graciously enough, finally, after begging for weeks to finish cleaning up stuff. Man, we gotta clean up this garage. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, he was nice enough to finally, finally finish doing all the pieces. And those are the door panels and there's the parts for the dash. So look at that little gem. So yeah, we can start uh, getting that shit done. Still top secret blueprints. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hope you watched the last video. But anyway, I think we're gonna get to work. And hopefully find out see if the starter fits. Yeah. And now that we have the hood, we can uh, start to uh, put the hood on. It's not going to be bolted just to get it all the gaps lined up and have the front end because the front end's all loose, so we can raise and lower with that, move it around, and make Why it look good. Bring this here? Just because uh, I might need want that knob just as a placeholder fair enough okay i was just curious all righty hopefully get some shit done also serious note here guys me actually being serious what's that yeah that's what i'm talking about relax don't get your soiled under he's in a knot we're uh, coming up with the year or we pass the year but yeah we've been doing this for about a year now so i just want to say thanks to all the guys that subscribe share watch and all that stuff and leave comments it's just nice we've been doing this for a year this is actually me being kind of serious, but yeah, appreciate it. That's year one. We're going to be keep doing this for many, 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 many more years, I hope. But anyway, this uh, summer coming up, we got a whole bunch of shit planned and different things. And a lot of things I've been throwing, like some pretty good ideas. Naysayer Chris has been like, no, but we're going to still see about it. We we're talking about one today, so maybe. But anyway, hope you like this little video. Like, share, subscribe, guys. It's February. Fuck, February is almost over. Today's the 21st. What flew by? Dang. Anyway. Gonna get to work. See you in a bit. All right, so we're getting just ready to mount the fender. Uh, first, we just gotta mock it up to because uh, the bottom holes there and there. If you come over here with the camera, we, they gotta be drilled. There's gotta be a hole there because this panel was uh, brand new. We made that from scratch, and we just didn't uh, drill the hole because we didn't know where it was. And the same with this little panel back here, it has to be drilled. So we're gonna just quickly put a couple bolts in just to mark those holes, we'll drill them. And then um, we got uh, welting from Speedway. We'll, we'll uh, fit that, pie cut it, just so it fits good on there. And then we'll mount it up permanently onto the truck. So we'll show you that. If you wanna grab the fender. That's you too. Let's go. Okay, Mr. Miyagi. <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going. 
one here for us. Yeah, I don't think you're right. Oh, okay. Oh, one second. And there. Okay. That's just to hold it. Mm -hmm. You know what? What? It probably would have been a lot easier thing. to take the freaking tire off. Okay, so we're just getting ready to put the fenders on. Um, we got welting from Speedway. And what I'm doing now is we got a couple clamps and I'm marking where the holes go and I'm also pie cutting. So that it cur it makes a nice curve and it doesn't bunch up. And you got to do that all on this curve here and a little bit around the top because the top isn't completely straight but I'm just taking your taking time and that way it doesn't uh, look like crap when you Put it on and it fits good. And I basically just slice it and take a pie cut out of it. And I'm just punching holes and if you don't have a leather punch sacrifice a crappy socket grind it down the size you need and there you got you got a leather punch Block of wood, and we got a perfect hole. Final tightening, Chris. Yeah. Okay, I'll do the very bottom then. Okay. So we got the fender just loosely on with two bolts. We uh, put masking tape to hold the the welting, uh, and then once we get all the bolts on, you can peel the masking tape off, and if you need to, it's uh, you can lift use it to lift the welting. I found that works pretty good. And then once you're done, it's just masking tape so you can just pull it off. It'll come off and then tighten it up. So Kevin's just getting the bolts in and I'm going to be putting the nuts on. Wiggle the fender first, sir, Chris. Which one are you going to? Uh, one pretty much right here. Okay. There we go. You just doing everything finger tight right now, or? Yeah. Okay. And we'll get all the nuts and bolts in, then we'll start playing with the final fitment of the welting. Hey guys, we just got this fender installed here on the truck here. I've been uh, pretty much doing this whole project build today by myself here. Everyone else is making fun of me today because I've been watching Cobra Kai. But nonetheless, uh, I'm just gonna tighten up the last bolt here, or nut, sorry. It's right now, just for the fender brace. And you notice that the fender brace is bolt there and nothing there. I deleted the uh, bolt that was, there, hold light. Yes, sir. I deleted 
uh, this bolt here. There's supposed to be a carriage bolt going through there. I deleted that because it was just going to rust. So now it's nice and smooth. Looks factory still. Except for the engine. But that's another thing. But yeah, still got to just uh, tighten these up a bit. And but that's about where the fender is going to go. So we'll uh, tighten these up. Good. That's an exciting job. And Corey's uh, busy Don't film this. <laughs> trying to piece together uh, custom sockets for shims. Yeah. But we're getting it. What the hell are you doing? He's doing his Cobra Kai <laughs> imitation. What the hell are you doing? Getting the job done. <clears throat> what a moron. Okay, can we go back to work? Yep. You want to start tight? Yes, sir. Yeah, when I leave today or later on, I'll take these off and Ryan can just quickly sound them Okay, hey, rear fender is on. It took about three guys to do this as uh, you need one guy to tighten underneath and one guy with a wrench in the box and one guy to make sure that the bead is nice and uh, smooth. Non-wrinkly and so that came out good. Yeah, Corey, I'm still rambling. So the bead looks pretty good. Came out perfect. So now we just got to do the other fender. We didn't film it because we didn't have enough hands. Corey was busy doing pulleys. Which my abomination is ready. I just got to get the proper bolts. So yeah. Get the proper bolts, and blast these guys up. And this is just will get tightened up when I get my uh, bracket in the back there. Good to go. Fuel line, I just got to cut off there. And there yeah flathead's looking pretty good no yeah that's, that was the longest awkward pause ever yeah well these pulleys are pain in the butt to match up oh well it is what it is back to work we got them Work on the interior of the uh, 52 Ford, and we've uh, have mounted a gas pedal. This pedal is just a spoon type gas pedal, uh, just an aftermarket one. We bought it back in the 50s. Uh, we also have a choke cable running through the firewall, and that's this one. Put the light on. So that works. Uh, the gas pedal is working. And it's just got a universal uh, cable also. But with uh, I need to put a stop because if you keep pushing that You'll, you'll go, uh, you'll pull the cable off the uh, carburetor. So I've got a little rubber stopper with uh, threaded rod molded into it. I'm going to mount that right in the uh, transmission cover. And so when you put the gas pedal down, it'll stop there. It'll have a little bit of adjustment for that. Um, yeah, so that's one little modification. That's one thing I've got to do on my car, my 36 Terraplane, because I'm constantly uh, pulling the cable off, and that's the problem. So I'll show you the 
carb. Linkage set up. So it's just a universal cable adjustment there. And uh, it's just a Holly 600. That's what we're gonna be running. Made this bracket up. Just uh, some scrap steel we had around. Twisted it up, so it works. Okay, rubber stopper is in. It's not adjusted or anything, and I might trim it down. It's quite big, but it'll work perfectly. Um, I'm not putting it in permanent because we have to. I have to still take off the tranny cover and put a uh, gasket around it or a seal. But well, that's one thing off the uh, many things to do list. And we even got a dimmer switch that's all wired in uh i haven't wired in the turn signals because you know, i took the uh turn aftermarket turn signal off i found out that it was garbage it was all shorted inside uh it yeah can't be fixed so we're on the lookout for another one I'm gonna go buy one but it's one step Closer to being done. They say don't. You can't win. Corey, Corey, you're yeah. nice. Corey. We're live. Very nice. Someone's got to do the walk around here. Is that Mr. Garvey? Someone does the walk around here. You must jack up. Jack it up? I don't know where that fucking was for it. Yeah. No, it's not. Maybe you got a jack. Yeah, I just don't need one. You're good, Court. Yeah. You got a jack sign, or you're just gonna use the jack. Going down. <laughs> <laughs> went up too fast. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're done for the night here. We uh, got the rear fenders all mounted up. Um, looks pretty darn sharp, I'd say. All the welting and that and whatnot. Um, we we're gonna do the exhaust, but we uh, misplaced the collector somewhere in the garage. So I guess I gotta go and get one tomorrow. But nonetheless, uh, got that. The fender's done. Chris uh, wired up to the starter and all that, so the engine turns over. Yeah, Corey's got the starter hooked up and uh, all the pulleys lined up pretty good. So I can uh, start it with the key now. I'll just crank it. I'm just gonna bump it over because there's nothing else is hooked up. And that's with the key. So we just did it. Uh, just jury rig it for now, but I've got to run those properly. But the wiring seems to be working good. That's the Speedway wiring harness. So. Little by little, I still got a few more wires to hook up, but the alternator is not hooked, wired, or the distributor cap is not wired. Yeah, yeah we didn't get to the hood. Nope. And there's also a box of parts I sandblasted the other day, so that's another day. So. Yeah, I think I will end this video this uh, with this. Uh, I think it's probably long enough. So if you uh, 
please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, yeah, ask questions, whatever you want to know. Uh, I know some people don't like this small block Chevy, but uh, including myself, <laughs> but I'm being forced to work on it. Okay, well, that's it, and Cam says, kick out the competition! <laughs> now it's day. What a moron! <laughs> Alrighty, let's wrap it up. Yeah.